Hey, 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 family, it's your girl, Evelyn, here, back with another self-care for creative women entrepreneurs video. And today I want to talk about a little bit of self-care while you travel, okay? And so I have kind of like a little self-care kit, if you will, for when I'm traveling, whether I'm traveling for business or whether I'm traveling for pleasure or a mix of both, which as creative entrepreneurs, I know we often do. We kind of mix a little bit of business with pleasure a lot. And so I just want to share with you some things that I do when I'm traveling to just give myself a little extra experience. Even if it's for business and it's not a vacation, I still want to have time to have a little me moment, to have a little bit of self-care or you guys know, or a little bit of self-maintenance while I'm away. And so I kind of wanted to share that with you. So one of the first things that I do, and I actually got this from some friends I had several years ago that we we took a trip together and we were traveling together and they brought a candle into uh, to the room that we were sharing. And so ever since then, I have always brought a candle with me for my hotel room or for my Airbnb. And I always get just like a little candle. Um, this one is by Ikoya. It is their guava and lychee sorbet. Oh, listen, I love a fruity tropical candle. I'm not really big on floral or sugar. Like I'm not a, like a vanilla cookie, almond butter kind of candle, but I'm also not a gardenia. I'm more of a like cranberry, passion fruit, grapefruit kind of person. And this smells amazing. So, oops. <laughs> so I always like to have a little mini candle. And I also like to have a candle that has a lid, whether it's a loose lid like this or a more secure lid. That way, when I put the candle out, I don't have the, the smell of the um, blown out wick in the room because I feel like that defeats the purpose with the candle light. I don't understand candles that don't have a lid so that I, after I've got this amazing fragrance, now I've got this kind of like burnt wick smell anyway. And then also, um, like with this one, I'll probably keep it in the box. But when I have a candle that has a, like a tight lid, it's also so that once the candle cools and the wax is there, it's easy to travel with. So along with bringing the candle, I also bring some really cute matches. And so I have these matches here that I believe I got at Home Goods or TJ Maxx, but they're really, really long matches. So um, I just, just a little something extra, oops, just a little something extra, right? A little something girly, a little something bouge, a little something feminine when I travel versus like a lighter that has lighter fluid in it. I always keep a really cute box of really like long matches. And plus I just like long matches because, you know, I can get to the wicks easier as the candles burn down and I'm not trying to scorch my finger and I'm not traveling with like a lighter or a lighter stick. Okay, so first things first, I have a candle because what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to stimulate my senses, okay? And so having that candle there and one of my favorite scents in a hotel room, in an Airbnb, wherever you're at, is a great ambiance builder. And if you're traveling with someone, it's also great just in the room, you know, you got clothes that need to be washed in the bathroom, if you feel what I'm saying. You can also take a spray, um, a lot of times I will, not this one in particular, but I will take like a room spray or a bathroom spray. I don't necessarily want to travel with the glass, but if you have something where you can, you know, spritz down the bathroom, spritz down the room, just to give it a little extra oomph, it's something you may want to consider. So speaking of stimulating the senses, another thing that I absolutely have to travel with is my portable speaker. So this is my Bluetooth portable speaker. And a lot of times, you know, I want music in the morning or I want music when I'm showering or when I want to relax or something like that. Or if I'm sleeping in late that day and I know I'm going to piddle around the hotel because my activities aren't until later in the evening or something like that. I am a huge music lover. And so this is a great way to have a little extra oomph outside of the speakers on my phone. 
Um, and it's really lightweight. It's relatively small. It fits right either into my carry-on or my suitcase. I'm pretty sure there are smaller ones, but this is the one I have because I think it's really cute and simple. And uh, I love having a speaker. And even when I travel with people, they're like, oh, that was such a great idea. And so, you know, we have a little music in the room while we're getting ready and things like that. So I love having that. So now I've stimulated, you know, my ears. I've stimulated my nose and all that kind of stuff. Right. So here's where it starts to get extra bouge, which I know you will appreciate, is that when I travel, I do two things. Um, and I do this at home anyway. I sleep in a sleep mask. And so I have a satin sleep mask. Um, ooh, it washed out a little bit. I have a satin sleep mask. This one is pink. I also have a black one. But it came with a coordinating satin pillowcase. So a lot of times I will travel with my own pillow because I have a ergonomically correct like chiropractic pillow that I love. And so I think I have two of them. Like one is to travel and one is to stay at home. But even if I don't, I'm bringing a satin pillowcase just because whether it's for my hair, whether it's for my skin, I want to keep everything soft and smooth. And it's just like a little bit of extra luxury um when I'm traveling so whether I'm traveling for business or for personal right or recreation I'm bringing a eye mask and a pillowcase a satin pillowcase and depending on how early I'm traveling or how late I'm traveling and if I don't have makeup on sometimes I will take this with me on the actual airplane as my symbol of your girl really doesn't want to talk right now Evelyn doesn't really want to talk right now I just want to rest my eyes and I have my headphones in and there we go so so far we've got the candle and the really you know cool matches we've got the speaker we've got the eye mask and the pillowcase and then the other thing that I bring with me and I bring it everywhere I travel is I bring my journal okay and one of my favorite pens and it's because I think there's something about being in a new space being in a new terrain that like makes me be reflective or sometimes you know just having to slow down and be still on a plane even if i am listening to music you know i just always come up with like great thoughts or things that i've been trying to like resolve in my mind always seem to come to me when i'm traveling and particularly when i'm traveling for leisure i am bringing my journal and a favorite pen and so you know just stimulating my mind and you know getting my thoughts on paper and a change of scenery always seems to bring about new ideas and then the last thing i bring with me is i bring um like a travel snack bag and this is actually a travel tea bag and so I got this idea from at home with Nikki if you have if you're not subscribed to at home with Nikki I don't know where you've been but she's an amazing organizer but she also has like great tips for the home and things like that and so she did about a year or two ago she did a video about a travel coffee kit and so I'm not a coffee drinker because I'm really caffeine sensitive but I do love coffees I mean I excuse me I do love tea and so you know a lot of times when I'm in the hotel or I'm at an Airbnb or even on the plane because your girl is just bouge okay uh, I'm just extra like that I like to have my own tea and my own mug and I just did a video about everything that is in this on my uh, chef Evelyn YouTube channel and so but I'll give you a quick little run through without giving you like the whole shebang but basically the the concept is that in here I have a, my own mug isn't this so cute my mom got this for me and I have a little pack in here and it has like my honey, my spoon, my different types of tea. I have um, coordinating napkins in here. And I have like some shortbread cookies because I love shortbread with my tea. And so when I travel, this is just like my mini like mandatory self-care stuff. Sometimes I'll take a book depending on how long I'm going to be in my locale. And um, if I know I'm going to have time, I used to take a book all the time and then it was just like extra weight and I knew I wasn't going to be able to read it but now I know I can always get in five to ten minutes of journaling I can light a candle while I'm getting ready while I'm winding down having my pillowcase having my sleep mask having some music is a great way to set the mood uh, and relax and just have a little time away and so I hope this has given you some ideas of some things 
that you could put in a self-care travel kit. So let me know in the comments below, uh, what's your next trip that you have coming up? Uh, as you're watching this, I am probably uh, in Baltimore headed uh, to a wedding that I have designed. And if the bride lets me, I will give you a little bit sneak peek behind the scenes. And so listen, I y'all, I do a lot of things, okay? Like, I don't design weddings as a career but more as a really really fun hobby so this is i think this is the first this is the is this the first wedding that i've designed it is but i love like home decor and interior design and all that kind of stuff not as not as a profession but as as a like a, like a paid hobby so anyway by the time you're seeing this i will be enjoying all of these wonderful things as i prepare to decorate for her big day which i'm excited that she has entrusted me with that and um anyway i will see you in my next video let me know where you're traveling next and let me know what kind of things do you like to take with you when you travel just for a little bit of added comfort because i could always use some new ideas all right you guys i'll see you in the next video peace